Hi, Alan White here. I've been trying to automate Figma with some of the new plugins. I want to turn this list of components into this list of fully populated, beautiful share images and export them to our CMS. Check it out. I was having some fun with Figma today and I got distracted in like the best way today because I have been wanting to figure out some of these data automation uh, possibilities with Figma now that their plugin ecosystem is like wide open and it feels like we're seeing new plugins like every day. Uh, there's one called the Google um, Sheets Sync uh, plugin and uh, you can kind of see it here. And I'm gonna, I wanna show you um, kind of how I uh, figured out some of that stuff today and show you with a real world example. So um, here, is, uh, here is a little template that I've got and it's basically, I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do is generate share images. So the things that appear with open graph metadata for Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, you know, Twitter, et cetera. So it's basically this sort of two to one format and generally they get cropped down to, you know, in the template. Um, and these are stored in our case at Contentful. So what I wanna do is I wanna crank out a bunch of them. And I've already got it uh, done, but I wanted to run through it really quick so you can see how it's done and get through some of the oddities with this particular plugin and, and be aware of some of the limitations. So, okay, so I've got this thing in here. This is a master symbol and I've got like a date, a title, uh, a, a solid image. Uh, it has to be an image, by the way, not a, an actual, or it has to be a solid uh, shape rather than an image. And then I've got a, a name and then their role is gonna be right there. Okay, so um, here you can see, like I, I did a custom layout for one, but what I did was I cloned this component um, 32 times and I've got it all there. And then what I do is, because these are all the um, layers for, let's look in this one, we've got layers for, and they're named with a little hashtag in front. So that, that is sort of the, um, that is like the variable key. Um, so what I did was, let's back up a little bit, so here I've got this long list of old podcasts that we, we went through a company merger and we brought in all these old podcasts. There's like 30, 32 of them, 31 of them. And so um, you can see they've got dates, titles, a little nice little photo. And this is our current website where you can kind of like go through. What I need though is I need to convert that into a Google spreadsheet. So what I did was I created a, a basically a table view. Um, we're using Middleman as our static site generator and it pulls from Contentful. I could have pulled from the original source, but I wanted the data to be like totally up to date. So here's a really quick and dirty uh, spreadsheet and I generated it. Here is a slim template that I used. Um, it's actually supposed to be, the orientation of the spreadsheet supposed to be tilted, but I didn't feel like doing that. So uh, I just thought I would uh, start like this. So basically I selected that table, pasted it into a Google spreadsheet. And then I just I just did a sort of uh, wrote, I reoriented it so that it was um, we've got it stacked on the right there. That's great. Okay, so I get that share URL and I copy that. Cool. And then I'm ready to feed that into my Figma plugin. So if I go over here, <clears throat> I've got my uh, I've got all these components. Now what I would really love is for this plugin to automatically create these and automatically name these objects. It does not apparently do that yet. I mean, I've got this nice little list of slugs that I pulled, um, that I generated. I would really love to tack those slug names on, but because this is pretty new, I think we're not there yet. So at any rate, what I did was, uh, I'm gonna, I don't think you have to select these objects. I think you can just, you know, synchronize the entire sheet. So basically I'm gonna to go to plugins and I've already installed this and configured it with the uh, spreadsheet URL. And I'm lim limiting this to the current page because I don't want it to do it for the whole document. First thing I'm gonna do is fetch. So this is gonna show me my spreadsheet. Hey, that's cool, that looks correct. Um, it doesn't look like anything got misaligned. And you notice that my, um, these are not case sensitive by the way, um, so you can name them whatever you want, but it looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna hit sync and it's gonna crank on it and look at that. That is just, that is money. And we got a couple issues here and there because, you know, with data, and here is a key principle that I, that I learned and that is design with real data. Um, so this is actually a great way to mock that up. Now, with this process sort of break down with hundreds and hundreds of entries, like, yeah, I think it would. But for like a batch of them, like, why not? So like, you can see on the left here, 
all of these components are still named the same thing. Now there are various auto naming, um, like what I did was I did a, there's rename it, I think, which exists for, you know, uh, Slack or sorry, Sketch and uh, Figma as well. Um, just so I could number them, for example, uh, but I ended up having to hand name these and that was a real pain in the butt. So here is where I arrived and you can see here, I've just named these all, like really because I'm handing this off to other people, I want them to be able to match up the name of the share image with the entry because then I'm gonna have an intern do this. Um, but so, you know, maybe this is a step you don't need, but I kind of think this is a key. So if plugin authors, if you're listening, this would be my feature request. Help us name these layers that you first auto auto generate the layers, um, the frames in, in, in Figma parlance, which are these different objects ready for export. Help us rename these and auto generate them. That would be fantastic. We would be living in, in heaven. And uh, you can see here, this is the final product. You can see here this component. This is the master component right here. And we can do we can still do all the cool stuff. Look at that. We're moving stuff around in real time. We could be re rewrapping stuff. Uh, <laughs> this is pretty freaking cool. So once we figure out how to totally automate this to where it's appearing in a repository or uploading to a CMS, we're not there yet, I don't think. Um, or maybe there's some other plugins we'd have to figure out. But like to me, this is like design ops stuff that could highly automate some of these, like the drudgery that um, we all have to do every day. Or at least, you know, um, yeah, streamline that a little bit. So I'm basically, I have spent some time off screen uh, renaming all of these, but I'm ready to kick these suckers out. So I'm gonna select all of those and I'm gonna set my export settings to JPEG to 2X and then I'm gonna export these. It's gonna crank on those. Those are looking pretty good. I already did a pass through them to kind of like, you know, copy fit a little bit where necessary. Um, so uh, let's see here, where should I put these? Okay, found a place to save those. There we go. And one thing that bugs me about, <laughs> about Figma is that it doesn't really show you where you drop stuff. So you kind of have to go and like follow it again. Uh, let's see if I can find all that stuff. Here we go. Share card images. Boom. Oh man, that, look at that. That is, that is incredible. That worked out so well. So now my last step, and this is just my own personal uh, thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to crank those through image optim. Uh, a couple other like comments. Um, I just got a brand new um, lavalier microphone, uh, which I highly recommend for podcasting, for practice, whatever. This is an AT uh, Audio Technica. It's like 30 bucks. Just got it. Super happy about that. And uh, now I'm ready to like, I'm ready to start uploading these. So I'm going to upload these to my CMS. Uh, which happens to be Contentful, which is also acting as my image CDN. And then I'm going to talk to uh, one of our interns who's going to like connect these with all the old entries. And then all of our entries that we just spent time importing are going to have these great custom share images. So, um, so to recap, uh, let's see. So basically, um, we had the chance to, um, I'm going to undo this here. Let's see here. So basically, we, um, had a great opportunity to uh, make health IT safe and effective. It even renamed that. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at that. That's awesome. Anyway, we looked at some ways to automate Figma with the uh, Google Sheets plugin. Um, massive props to uh, the author who I believe, let's see here, is David Willemez. Hopefully I did not murder your, your name, but um, this is a, and by the way, the documentation is looking really, really great. Um, appreciate that for new plugin authors out there. Um, this is look super useful. So uh, definitely I'm going to be uh, dropping this as some feature requests, but um, it's so new that, you know, it's just, it's taken a while to little to sort of like get it to where we are now. Um, really excited about what's going on in Figma these days. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see you next time.